Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. We talked about how to come up with functional equations in a previous video. You can go ahead and check that out. We have f of f of x plus y equals x over 1 plus xy. And f is defined from positive real numbers to positive real numbers. Okay. So under those conditions, we're going to try to find f. Uh, we're going to be try to solve for f. And to solve for f, x equals 0 obviously is not allowed. So we're going to use, we know that x does not equal 0. We're going to test x equals 1. A lot of times uh, for these functional equations, uh, you can replace x with certain values such as 0 or 1 to come up with, um, you know, an easier equation that you can solve to find the function f. So let's go ahead and substitute and replace x with 1. That gives us f of f of 1 plus y equals, in the right hand side we're going to get 1 over 1 plus y, but you can also write it as y plus 1. Okay, now notice that f of 1 is a constant. Really? Yes. f of 1 is a constant, so let's go ahead and call that something. How about c? So if we set f of 1 equal to c, then we're going to get a nicer equation. Let's write it this way. f of y plus c equals 1 over y plus 1. This is nice because we didn't get something for f of y, but we got, we're almost there. So, so the next thing we can do is replace y with something. And in this case, since y, we have y plus c, it makes sense if you replace y with y minus c. Because y minus c plus c equals y, right? c cancels out. But can I replace y with y minus c? Of course you can, because these are dummy variables. They're just dummy. We can replace any variable with another variable, so on and so forth. As long as we're not violating the conditions, right? So if we replace y with y minus c, we get f of y minus c plus c. And on the right hand side, we get 1 over y minus c. Remember, y is being replaced with y minus c plus 1. Okay, I wrote that in parentheses so you can see better what we're doing here. Okay, the c cancels out and we end up with f of y equals 1 over y minus c plus 1. I'm going to write that as y plus 1 minus c. Why? Because I want to replace 1 minus c with another constant and, you know, just make it a little easier. You don't have to do that. You could definitely go ahead and uh, solve for this from now on. Actually, we can try that, but let me let me show you what I mean by that first. So I was going to replace 1 minus c with k, and then we're going to get f of y equals 1 over y plus k. And then we do know that f of 1 is equal to c, and then I'm going to replace y with 1, so on and so forth, and go from there. But we can directly do it. So let's go ahead and do it uh, directly. Okay, so let's try to find f of 1 from here, since we have an expression for f of y. I'm going to go get rid of this. So let's replace y with 1 on both sides. That's going to give us f of 1 o equals 1 over 1 plus 1 minus c, which can, we can write as 1 over 2 minus c. But here's the thing. We do know that f of 1 it can be written as 1 over 2 minus c, but at the same time, f of 1 is actually equal to c. So we can just set this equal to c, right? And what does that give us? It gives us a really nice equation. First of all, we have to note that c does not equal 2. We have to make sure it doesn't. So under those conditions, we can go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 minus c. And that gives us 1 equals 2c, or not 2c, minus c squared. That didn't work quite work, huh? Uh, and then we can put everything on the left-hand side. c squared uh, minus 2c plus 1 equals 0. And even though this gives us a quadratic equation, it has uh, a double root, so the roots coincide basically. We get a perfect square, c minus 1 squared equals 0, which implies that c is equal to 1. Now, how does that help? Remember, we're looking for f of x, or an expression for f, but we also know that f of y can be written like this, right? And we do know that c is equal to 1 now, so let's go ahead and plug it in. So here's how it goes. We have f of y equals 1 over y plus 1 minus c. And replace c with 1, these two cancel out, and you end up with 1 over y. 
This means f of y equals 1 over y, which means we can write f of x as 1 over x. And that is actually the answer to the problem. We found the function f. Now, you can go ahead and test it out. That's actually how I came up with this problem. You can go ahead and just replace it, f of f of x plus y, replace f of x with 1 over x, then you're going to get the following, and then that's going to give you f of 1 plus y x over x, and then remember f is the reciprocal function, so it's just going to flip it, and you're going to get x over 1 plus y x, or 1 plus x y from here, which checks with the original equation. And... This brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.